All right, Warriors, the last topic on the list. Ho uh, hopefully you're still in a place to listen to me and make sense of this thing, but this is the last topic and I think it's the easiest to understand. So uh, when we talk about EC2 instances, uh, or like any virtual machines or any machines, they usually have one or two internet cards. Uh, well, network cards, it's also referred to as elastic network interface in AWS Cloud. And you have multiple processes running on a single machine and they all communicate through this card with the other machine and two-way communication. So to the both of these cards have an IP address, but to go from process one to process seven, it needs some more information to go to process seven than just the IP address. And this is where the port numbers come in. So when the process one starts a communication with a network card, it gives it the IP of the other server as well as the port number. And this is how the second network knows where to route that particular request. Same thing the other way around, the process eight would specify port 70 to go to uh, the process four on the other side. And when you're establishing security groups, these port numbers you're gonna to have to specify. So uh, the, the port numbers are very typical, like uh, for TCP communication, it's 80 for HTTPS, it is 443 and it goes on. But like you just need to know these numbers to establish communication between uh, two systems. All right, guys, that's all I wanted to cover. Um, in these two sessions, hopefully it helps you guys um, to get your start or like at least it removes some fear and has the basics that you would need to work as a cloud engineer. Uh, feedback is absolutely welcome. I plan on not working for two more months uh, and hopefully put some more educational stuff out on Udemy or YouTube, just uh, anywhere. So the more feedback you guys provide, the better job I can do in creating my next trainings. Thank you so much and all the best.